Hi everyone, today we are going to show you our orchestral setup in New Ender 7. Many people asked us how do we start on a new composition and how does our project look like. Let's start with the arrangement window. On top you can see all of our folders like VST instruments, effect channels, group channels and VCA faders. The time code track, the video, tempo track and markers. And it goes on with all the orchestral instruments that we are working with. And because it's so many channels, it's always good to separate them to different screens. And this is what I did here. Starting with our string section, brass section, woodwinds and percussion. And you can see that I use different libraries because I like to blend different sounds to get a more realistic overall sound. So you can see that we have different tracks for different libraries starting with LA scoring strings, Vienna instruments and Cine strings. So let me just show you some of the key switches that I work with here. Our arrangement window is always synchronized with our mixing window. So you can see here our strings, our woodwinds, brass section and percussion. You can see I use different sounds, but I always have like only one channel for an instrument. So all my strings are going, uh, all my first strings are going to one channel, second strings and so on. And of course the VCA fader for the group automation for the whole section. On the right we have the group channels for the different sections. This is because we like to have a reverb on each of the sections with different pre-delays. We will talk more about this in our mixing video. And as each library sometimes uh, has its own reverb built in, you want to have an overall reverb that blends everything into each other. So this is what I you see. By the way, in this hall, Philip and I had a concert a couple of weeks ago. Nice to see it again. And at last, there's a stereo delay that helps us to bring solo instruments in front of the mix. You can also see that all of our faders are already set to minus 8 dB from the beginning on to give us enough headroom during our composition and mix. And finally in my control room mixer I have two plugins that are very helpful for me. The first one is Magic AB that helps me to listen to reference tracks. So I would recommend to everyone always work with reference tracks with famous music just to compare what you do, if your sound is good, how the arrangement is. Very helpful Magic IB for that. And after that, the visualizer. This is my analyzer for checking all the frequencies. Very important, especially when you do mixes for mobile devices. That's our basic setup. Try it for yourself and thank you for watching.